Okay, so a few weeks ago, I released this video on the Axum Simo and just how I've used that product over the years to feed the camera signal into the iPad to use as a director's monitor or use at a monitor at my desk. And after releasing that video, I got a comment from Hard is Easy asking about the new feature in iOS 17, which after loads and loads of research, this blew my mind and pretty much makes the Axum Simo obsolete. So what's up everybody, my name is Ross Barnett and I have been a full-time videographer in the Southeast for the last seven years now. And as of two months ago, I'm officially taking everything that I know, all of my knowledge, and sharing it on this YouTube channel. And we have a channel goal to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. And I'd love to have you along for the journey. So for as long as I can remember, the USB-C port on the bottom of the iPhone and the iPad has always been an exit only. It's like you have always been able to plug an iPad into a TV or external display to feed the signal of the iPad to the TV. But the opposite way was never really an option until the Axum Simo device that released last year. The Axum Simo broke the code on the iPad and allowed you to plug in a camera signal directly into the iPhone or the iPad to use as a monitor. I've loved this device. It worked well until Apple essentially decided to make it obsolete with the new iOS 17 update. Essentially taking the $150 Axum Simo and replacing it with, well, something like this. A basic capture card that takes an HDMI signal and turns it to USB-C. Because I love supporting hammer companies, they make really good products and everything like that, I purchased this capture card from Condor Blue for $22. It's quite the value considering the Axum Simo is $150. So it's just about as simple as it seems, just a basic cable that comes in this bag and that's all you need. From what I understand so far about iOS 17 is that this really only works with iPads with USB-C and so if your older iPads have lightning ports or anything like an iPhone 14 below, this definitely won't work. Um, but I may be wrong about the iPhone thing because I'm not even sure if this actually works with iPhones at all. So let's plug this thing in and see what it does. We'll be using the Monitor Plus app because they've recently updated the software to allow this iOS change to make hardwired cameras be visible within the app, as well as still having the old school way of doing Monitor Plus over Wi-Fi. So after a quick plug in and loading up the app, it's really just that simple. Now, the one downside with this option is that there's no camera control. You can't change your shutter speed or your aperture or start stop record with this option. It works more similar to a normal HDMI monitor when plugged in with the capture card. Now, let's talk about the downsides. What more do you get with the Axum Simo for $150? First, I'll say that the Axum Simo works with devices with a lightning port. So if you have an older iPad or an iPhone, that'll definitely work with the SEMO and won't work with the capture card. Secondly, the SEMO charges your device with USB-C, where this option with the capture card won't charge your device unless you want to introduce some sort of dangly dongle off the side of your iPad. We've all been there. So we're left with this weird balance of three ways to use your iPad as a monitor. Option one, the Axum Simo gives you charging, but it's expensive and cumbersome, needing an entirely different device and a battery to work. Option number two is running Monitor Plus via Wi-Fi. This is great because you can control your settings of your camera and have full access to remotely change all of the settings. But the Wi-Fi has been an unreliable source to use as a director's monitor on set. Or, now with option three is using the capture card to feed signal directly to the iPad. This obviously loses the charging option and loses the ability to control the camera, but it is a crazy inexpensive and simple route to use if you already have an iPad with USB-C. This could work really well with a dedicated HDMI transmitter feeding directly to an iPad. So I hope this video was helpful in showing you the new features of what iOS 17 does and how you can use the iPad as a monitor for your camera with a simple $22 capture card. If you found this video helpful, or even if you didn't, I would appreciate the subscribe or even possibly a comment down below. We're on a mission here to reach 1,000 subscribers by the end of 2023. And since we're currently just over the 700 mark, I fully believe that we can do it. I'll see you guys on the next video.